Bang. When the Critic Crunch uh, broke in 2008, I was actually on tour in your beautiful country and one of the, through the wonder of the internet, uh, it's now uh, possible to go for an entire American tour without once switching on the TV in your hotel room. It's brilliant. Because you've always got something else to do, so you don't have to be contaminated by all that stuff. And uh, you can listen to the world news on the BBC at midnight. It's kind of like, here it's kind of like four in the afternoon, but on, on the other coast that we don't talk about, it's just about that time when I go back to the hotel for my pre-show rituals. When I empty my, my mind and myself of the day. And uh, I was listening to the midnight news and I heard your then president, George W. Bush, talking about the economic crisis. And um, he said that he wanted the... Uh, the governments of the G20 nations to come together to save democratic capitalism. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a concept, isn't it? That's come out. Where does that come from? Democratic capitalism. We have a word in England, we refer to some two words that shouldn't go together as an oxymoron. And I think that was one of the biggest oxymorons I ever heard. There's quite a few of them. This is one I really two words that shouldn't go together. Here's an example. Military intelligence. You see how that doesn't work? That doesn't need explained, do you? They're two words. Every time I hear these two words together, I think, oh, it's another two words that shouldn't go together. American football. No. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Too much American, not enough foot, not near enough ball. You know? Listen, look, don't, don't be offended because we all love dressing up at the weekends. Everyone loves a bit of that. <laughs> but it's, you know, why don't you just kind of like strip it down to its essentials and just get the guys suited up and just fire them at each other out of a cannon? <laughs> It'll have the same kind of, won't it? The same kind of effect. You know, it's kind of. I'll, I'll move on. Here's another two words. Another two words that you really don't like to see together self regulation. <laughs> No, that's why the regulations are there, Dumkoff. Because you can't, you can't regulate yourself. Put that chocolate cake back in the fridge. You see how that works? There's no way you're going to regulate yourself. Particularly if you're a stockbroker and you've got millions and millions of dollars of somebody else's money. But it doesn't matter if you lose that money, you're not going to lose your house. These poor investors are going to lose their house. And that's why capitalism isn't democratic. It's a great idea. It's a lovely idea. And democracy, democracy is an important idea. It's a very good way to elect representatives. But if we, as a planet, are going to find uh, a way of uh, holding those with economic power over, to, over us to account, we're going to have to find something else other than democracy. We're going to have to find a way, some way, just to, to hold those people to account so that we end up living in a world where people come before markets. Because ultimately, if the markets are making government policy, this isn't democracy anymore. This is something else. This is a banker's world. And we just, you know, so that's that's what we have to try and work out, brothers and sisters, in the 21st century. The, the idea of accountability is going to be a, uh, a very sexy idea, even if it's only up to the point where when they mess up, the bankers, they lose their house and we don't lose our house. Just that much accountability I'm happy with. We don't have to destroy the entire system. We just have to make them responsible for the actions that they take. That's what I'm talking about. That's what this song is talking about. It's called MPWA. No power without accountability. <laughs> Company town, and I will go hard till that company closed down. They gave my job to another man, and half my wages in some foreign land. And when I asked, how could that be any good for our economy? I was told. Nobody cares so long as they make money when they sell their shares. Can you hear us? Are you listening? No, I 
without accountability, yeah. I lost my job, my car, my house. Went 10,000 miles away, some guy clicked on a mouse. He didn't know me, we never spoke. He didn't ask my opinion, or canvas my votes. I guess it's true. Nobody cares till those petrol bombs come spinning through the air. Gotta find a way to hold them to account before they find a way to snuff our voices out. Can you hear us? Are you listening? No power without accountability. That we achieve democracy. Our leaders claim their victory, but only half the people have spoken. There is no job security in this global economy. Our borders close to refugees, but our markets fall stupid. to Mexico We'll cut you off unless you keep your taxes low But they have no right to wield that sword They take their orders from the chairman of the board IMF WTO I hear these words just every place I go Who are these people who elected them? And how do I replace them with some of my friends? Can you hear us? Are you listening? No power without accountability Are you listening? No power without accountability Without accountability